my name is Gary Ford. I'm Director of Engineering with Liquid Spring Technologies. Liquid Spring has developed a hydraulic suspension system for automotive use. Applications we're on right now are ambulances, shuttle buses, limo buses, and uh, city transit buses. The advantage of Liquid Spring Suspension System is you can get both a really good ride as well as really good handling. Substantially better than what you can with an OEM suspension. And the way we achieve that is we have a hydraulic suspension that can give you really, really low spring rate to give you really good ride and a really high spring rate to give you really good handling. And it's electronically controlled, so it switches seamlessly between really stiff, really soft, and somewhere in between to give you the best of ride and handling. So from a driver's perspective, when you do have to do a lane change maneuver or a fast corner or if you're in a really gusty condition, the wind's buffeting you around, you get a lot of uh, a sense of control of the vehicle because you don't get a lot of buffeting from a high wind. And when you do a lane change, you get the response back that you'd expect, controlled behavior. Ben Rosenthal, Carlsbad Fire Department. Uh, Brad Danz or Carlsbad Fire Department? Uh, well, we're coming to check on our ambulances that uh, we purchased from EVG and Lifeline, and then also our Spartan brush rig cool. that we're getting. And what did you guys think of the ride on the liquid spring suspension bus? It was pretty impressive. Uh, we've actually been looking at switching our ambulances over to that suspension, so it's the first time I've ever been in one, though, that had one. Doing well? Uh, Richard uh, Buckles from American Ambulance Visalia. Came cool. down to check out your guys' rigs. What did you guys think about the ride on the bus you came in right now? Uh, it was really good. Uh, smooth. He gave us one of those little swerve tests. Yeah. That was pretty cool. We, yeah. we went way over. And uh, usually you probably roll those things at that time. Right. But it was, it was really smooth. Cool. I liked it. My name is Robert Aragon. I'm yeah. the director of operations for Metro yeah. Chapman. And uh, what brought you out to the EVG show today? Uh, well, you know, we pretty much come every year. We use we're customers of EVG. We purchase ambulances from there. And what did you think? What are your impressions about the bus you rode on? Uh, it was actually very unique. I'm very familiar with uh, large vehicles and yeah. about uh, suspension systems. You know, one of the biggest complaints, especially we have for the large units, is the suspension on the back. It, it was it was very neat. cool. You see an application it for it on the ambulance? I sure do, especially you know on the large type of vehicles. Michael Ashley, senior fire equipment mechanic. I'm impressed that this great big old bus making those lane changes like he made stayed as well handling as it did. My name is uh, Division Chief Scott Walker. I'm from the Phoenix Fire Department and I currently manage the fleet of the Phoenix Fire Department. We're actually, we were invited to come over for the show. Uh, you know, we have a large open house. We have a lot of different ambulance uh, products are represented, and specifically the liquid string suspension. I'm actually in the market right now, looking to buy five new ambulances, and I've heard a lot of good things about the product, and I wanted to see it firsthand before we spent the money. So that was one of the reasons it brought us out here. I, I truly am impressed. Um, we have right now ambulances that have standard springs. We have ambulances that have an air ride type suspension, and we really haven't been happy with either of those products. Personally, I've worked in the back of ambulance for over 20 years so I know what it's like to be a firefighter or a patient in the back there and feel it um, after this test drive it was impressive it was smooth um, the basic maneuvers that they put us through you can really notice the difference in how the suspension reacted so overall my impression is very satisfied and I uh, plan on moving forward with uh, equipping our rescues or ambulance with this product. What stood out to you during this particular test drive? Probably the, the overall was just the fact that it was so smooth. Yeah. Uh, you know, over the normal type road bumps and you know road um, you know uh, debris and that type of thing. It was just smooth, consistent. You know, when you're in an ambulance back there, you, you really do feel that every bump and every little uh, train track or anything like that. So, well, definitely for the EMTs working back there, it, it's a good thing. But more importantly, really to me, is it's for the patient. You know, we're putting someone back in there is obviously have some type of medical issue and uh, laying on a backboard after a car wreck. You know, that is a miserable ride anyway. So. So to any improvements we see would be much better for the patient. Probably the number one thing right now we're facing and looking at is the safety in the back of the ambulance for our members. Um, on a critical patient, oftentimes we're forced in decision not to be seat belted possibly if we're wanting you know, CPR or whatever. Anything we can do to make that ride a little bit smoother, a little bit safer so we're not tossing EMTs and paramedics around is going to be a huge thing, you know, safety for our members. And so to me that's the number one thing we're looking at.